To the parents, I address you today. Have you realised or do you realise that you are the protector of your children's innocence? Have you realised that from the first moment you awake each morning, your duty is towards your children? Firstly, you commence with your morning offering and then dressing appropriately. And to husbands, do you realise that your manner towards your wife, who as mother of your children, is to be a care which Jesus has for his church? Do you realise that the virtues you demonstrate towards your wife are teachings, moral teachings for your children. Mothers, do you realise that when you obey your husband, you explain the love of Christ for your husband to your children? Parents must be one in flesh. They are a unity of oneness, the strength of mum and dad that your children honour. Jesus honoured his mother and father. My brothers and sisters in Christ, today's reading reminds us that the day of the Lord cometh like a thief in the night. Are your children in the state of grace? Are they ready to die? Are they strengthened by your good example, by your prayers? Have you shown them how to pray? Do you pray the most holy rosary with them? Or are they weakened to be an agent for the evil one? That is, will they die in serious sin? Never has there been a conflict such as today. We face the greatest historical confrontation humanity has ever experienced. I do not think the wide circle of the American society or the whole wide circle of Christian community realise this fully. That was said by St. John Paul II before he became Pope when he visited Philadelphia in 1976 for the Eucharistic Congress. The popular evangelists, the popular priests and bishops, the multi-million view YouTubers are not preparing their viewers for death. And we talk about the natural death not a chasmalistic slaughter, but a natural death. For judgment, for heaven, and for avoiding hell. In fact, some preachers deny the existence of hell. To deny hell is to open the way to hell. The Fatima children experience the horror and willingly change their lives to pray, to sacrifice, upon having viewed the eternal flames in which the demons and the souls in human form congregate. By the erroneous teachings of the philosophers Bath and Balthasar, Catholic theologians have become popularists and confer a comfort Catholicism, a teaching of modernist errors. These YouTube evangelists are popular and ambitious and they entertain the young and the youth with their sociology. Instead of preparing the youth for death, judgment, heaven and being aware of the existence of hell, these assigned erroneous teachers who are more interested in the cliques than the truth dilute the faith and are not preparing the flock to meet their maker, Jesus Christ. No one knows when we are to die. Since you know very well that the day of the Lord is going to come like a thief in the night. That's today's reading, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 6. But we must be ready. We do not know the hour or the day. If the parents and the popular bishops and priests do not prepare the youth for death, who will? My answer is as follows. 
attend the hidden and lost sacrament of confession. Confess your sins to the priest. Your confession is a baptism of fire, a miraculous conversion, a re-entry, if you like, to be adopted children of God, a true prophet and king. Again, I say the baptism of fire, the reigniting of the flame of love of the Holy Spirit in the hearts of the youth is through confession and then Holy Communion received worthily. Holy Communion will not reignite the sanctifying grace in a dead soul. In fact, when the soul is in mortal sin, you sicken your body further and commit a sacrilege. A sacrilegious communion is damning. Most youth need Holy Communion, but after confession. Confession is first. There is no other way. Our Lady of Lourdes said, penance, penance, penance. And that penance is the first of all the penances, which is the sacrament of penance, the sacrament of confession. After confession, your refuge is the Immaculate Heart. She is always with you, no matter how fallen you have. When the teachers do not bring you to the Blessed Virgin Mary, when they refuse to talk about the Mother of God, their words are empty. Leave those seminars, leave those talks. Mary is the refuge of sinners. She brings life into the world as her spouse was able to conceive in her womb Jesus. She is the mother of God. She's the one who we turn to. She is the one God entrusted the Saviour from the first moment of his conception. So it's the Virgin Mary who plays this role in redemption. It's a cooperative role unique only to Our Lady who continues this redemptive role today. She needs to be known. When a preacher talks about Our Lady, the conversation that comes, the action of the Holy Spirit moves into the soul of the person, enabling them to see errors in their life. To omit Our Lady is to omit the Holy Spirit. The two are inseparable. Spousal relationships are inseparable. Mary, being the mother of the Word, and the Word became flesh in her womb. It is not fitting to take Mary, it is not fitting to take Mary into your heart unless you ask her for that particular grace which is necessary as the words were spoken from Calvary, this is your mother. Go to Mary and clean yourself up in the waters of the baptism of confession. Mary will lead you to confession. Holy communion is later. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.